Hey guys, I've had a few people request for me to make a video showing how to clean sand substrate in an aquarium. So as most of you probably know, I recently switched from a bare bottom aquarium to having sand substrate in my goldfish tank. So it's kind of a big difference, but the sand is actually fairly easy to clean, as I think some of you might be surprised to find out. But I'll show you anyways, and you'll see how easy it is. So first you just take your siphon hose and run it just over the top of the sand surface all over to pick up the poop and gunk. And that will just lift everything up. See the nice thing about sand is that it's really fine grained and it compacts pretty well. So that means the poop and uneaten food can't sink into the substrate and get stuck. Instead it just kind of sits on top of the surface. And the sand I'm using, which is Carib Sea Tahitian Moon Sand, is pretty heavy, so even if you accidentally push the siphon down into the substrate, you probably won't end up siphoning away too much sand. It will pick the sand up, but most of it just kind of swirls around and then falls back down. Sometimes there's a larger or heavier poo that's difficult to pick up with the siphon, and for these, you can actually remove the end of the siphon. So you're just using the hose alone for more suction power, but mine doesn't come off very well and I don't want to try to rip it off in case I break it or something. So what I do is I just siphon it up and then I quickly turn the end of the siphon to face upwards. So then gravity kind of helps the siphon pick up those heavier pieces. And after you've siphoned all the large particles, you should then stir up all the sand with your hand. Like I said before, sand is very fine grained, so it compacts. And if you're not careful, this can lead to anaerobic pockets forming. And these anaerobic pockets are the perfect breeding ground for anaerobic bacteria to grow. And some of these bacteria produce hydrogen sulfide gas. So if the sand isn't consistently stirred up, pockets of the harmful hydrogen sulfide gas can form. And that can be really dangerous for your fish if he decides to come along and stir up the substrate in that area. So just always make sure to stir up the sand each week and you'll avoid that. After you've done all that, you can just drain your water as normal. I usually change 90% of the water, but for this video demonstration I'm only changing 50%. And it's really important that you make sure to put some sort of cover over the end of your siphon if you're walking away while the tank is draining. I've heard lots of horror stories of curious goldfish getting stuck in the siphon and losing an eye or worse. So be really careful about that, guys. Then you just fill up the tank as normal. Uh, but if you want, you can position the siphon hose like I have it here so that it doesn't disturb the sand substrate as much while it's filling up. And just another tip, if you're a little bit OCD and you feel like you need to have a clean tank all the time, you can always use a turkey baster to pick up little pieces here and there in between water changes. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I told you it was pretty easy. So thanks for watching and look for more videos in the future.